Hey okay, guys, this is Kieran. This is day 37. But today we are going to look at the neck stall. I'm just also going to give you a few thoughts on my on the Tatsu ball. And I'm also wearing new trims today, so I'm going to test them out a little bit. So I'm not expecting to hit anything majorly difficult in terms of tricks because it takes me a couple of days to get used to new, new products. Um, right. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification button and stay up to date with the rest of them. So the Tatsu ball, I like it. I like the design, love the design, the dragons. Um, it just all leads into the from the pump side into, into the logo there with the, the eagle, I think it is. Beautiful looking, another beautiful looking ball uh, from Monta. One thing it took me a bit to get used to last night when I was training with it is just I'm so used to using a monta ball with reduced bounce so and I've not had a monta ball that bounces like that for since the very first monta ball I owned which was another freestyle ball um, so getting used to that again after coming from using a regular kind of match ball it, it was a little different different it was a little different and it took me a little bit to get really going with it but hey, it's one of those things, that, but the same with the shoes, or it's gonna take me a few little bits to adjust. But anyway, let's get into today's tutorial, which is the next stall. So a basic of uppers freestyle. So the next stall, kind of a bit of cheat here. I got my hood on, but that usually hinders me a little bit. This is how I learn it. I'll teach you how I learned it first. So you wanna get shoulder, your legs roughly shoulder length apart. And then you want to stick your bum out, look balance and get kind of parallel with the floor, head up and place the ball in between your shoulders and your neck. So it's like kind of in between your shoulder blades and neck and that's all you want to do for now. You might want to raise your arms out, you might want to have your arms out or up. Obviously, I, I'll take my jacket off and in the other videos, I'll show you how to do it. So, simple bit, bend your knees, bum out, get, try and get your body parallel to the floor, head up, look in the direction you're going because that's what's gonna hold the ball effectively in place. Right. It's freezing today, by the way. To say it's British summertime, it's very cold. The next stage you want to move on to is doing it from a throw. So when you throw the ball up, the key thing is, as the ball comes up, you want to be looking to then get under the ball. Um, and it's the same, you've got to get into that same position, get your knees bent to get under. So keep your eyes on the ball, keep your eyes on the ball, and then get in. ball up keep your eyes on the ball to the last moment so start with small throws and again just try and hold it and move around with it and just practice keeping it balanced it takes time if the ball moves and rolls off try again try again try again next stage is you want to try and add it into kick-ups or from a foot stall personally I like to use them from a foot stall to transition up so again it's a throw up so get into a good foot stall position, get a balance, bend your knee down and then throw the ball up, eyes on the ball, under and catch. From there, a little thing for you to practice afterwards is if you want to flick the ball off, so you kind of like roll down, and as, as it rolls down, you push up. I need a little patience, a little separation for my health. I'm really good at waiting, but lately I've been. 
been waiting by myself It sounded good on paper But that's the reason why I had to leave Surrounded by this vapor I thought it was the air that's hard to breathe Whoa, I guess I found a reason I guess I found a reason Whoa, I guess I found a reason I guess I found a reason For watching this video please leave a like comment share subscribe hit that bell notification button to stay up to date and i'll see you again